They're the true stories that never fail to hit a home run. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sports biopics. Go get him, champ. For this list, the films in question must be based on a real-life story, but doesn't solely have to be about one single person involved in sports, and thus can include teams, multiple athletes, and so on. Nobody gives a shit. This means that any film that are mostly fiction won't make it. We're also excluding documentaries, because those are worthy of a list on their own. So, that's a no for Senna. Number 10, The Hurricane. He put me in prison. Love's gonna bust me out. To start, we have the impressive story of Reuben Carter a top-ranking middleweight boxer of the 1960s that was falsely imprisoned for murder for almost two decades. Look, look, I'm innocent, that's why. Seven years, you're goddamn right in seven years. Just get me out of here. I want a new trial. Starring Denzel Washington as the Hurricane in a moving and complex feature about the horrors of racial profiling during the mid-20th century. The actor's performance has been praised as being equal to his turn in Malcolm X. Innocence. I've been innocent for 16 years. That's how long I've been in here. Innocence is a highly overrated commodity. In fact, Washington's performance in both were so powerful that he earned an Oscar nomination for each. The movie itself also earned critics' praise and numerous accolades. Oh, I'll always be the hurricane. And the hurricane is beautiful. Number nine, Moneyball. You found Jason, you found Damon. I need more money, Steve. The underdog team is probably the most used trope in sports movies, but it's always best when they're true to life as well. My bar is here. My bar is to take this team to the championship. General manager Billy Bean and his assistant Peter Bran are tasked with the mounting pressure of rebuilding a financially screwed team using their wits and sophistication. We are card counters at the blackjack table. And we're gonna turn the odds on the casino. Based on Michael Lewis's book of the same name, the film featured a stellar cast with a breakout dramatic performance from Jonah Hill. Okay, so Billy says he'll pay for Rincon himself, but when he sells him for more money next year, he's keeping the profit. Nominated for many Oscars, Moneyball is listed highly on many critics' lists for being one of the best films of 2011. And I'm telling you, there is no explanation for what's occurring right now. It's bigger than a whole bunch of superstitions going on that you have to do the same thing. Nope, I'm not the jinxing it, but the all-time record of 20 does not seem impossible anymore. Number eight, Sea Biscuit. When it comes to movie making, even a horse can be an underdog. Or would it be under horse in this case? Starring Tobey Maguire, Jeff Bridges, and Chris Cooper, this sports drama is based on the real-life career of Seabiscuit, an undersized competitor in the horse racing game during the Great Depression. I have it on good authority. They feed Seabiscuit two pints of ice-cold beer before every race. With the team dealing with their own personal pressures, alongside the wild nature of the horse itself, this film tells a superb, heart-pounding, and tear-jerking tale. Sometimes all somebody needs is a second chance. Number 7, Cinderella Man. Well, if it ain't Cinderella Man. <laughs> this dramatic feature sees the real life of James J. Braddock and his boxing world brought to the big screen after he breaks his hand during a fight. Boxer Jim Braddock has come back from the dead to change the face of courage in our nation. After trying to support his wife as a manual laborer, he returns to the ring with a new Southpaw style that reignites his dead career. <laughs> If you were unsure about Cinderella Man when it first came out, you didn't have to worry about losing your cold, hard-earned cash, as AMC theaters promised refunds to anyone dissatisfied with the film. It's gonna be fine. Oh, it's not fine. No, it's not. It's what the hell? Fine. You don't tell me? What I the owe hell everybody kind of money, Joe. I owe everybody money. Out of hundreds upon thousands of audience members, only 50 asked for their money back. Now that's quality you can't argue with. Cinderella Man? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Number six. Remember the Titans. We are the Titans, we are the Titans, mighty, mighty Titans. Denzel Washington is back as Herman Boone, 
this time as an African-American coach, introducing a racially diverse football team to T.C. Williams High School in 1971. Coach Boone, black folks have never had anything in this city to call their own except humiliation and despair. Striving for harmony between the students, Boone takes to harsh and rigorous training to try and keep the young boys working together. They combine the white school and the black school into one. The stakes are high. If the team loses once, Boone will be fired. So it's up to the Titans to battle for equality and their coach's job in this heartfelt Disney feature. Let's go, it's out time, everybody in. Out time, out time, out time. Titans on three. One, two, three, time. Number five, Ali. It's time to get jiggy with it in the boxing ring, as Will Smith takes on one of the world's most famous boxing superstars. From this day forward, you will be known as Muhammad Ali. Telling the tale of Cassius Clay Jr. through his rise to the rumble in the jungle, the film details the events of Ali's life, namely his conversion to Islam and his most famous bouts. The champ is here! Reaching its climax in 1974 with Muhammad Ali's bout against George Foreman, Ali lets the Fresh Prince show off his fantastic acting range, but sadly, there's no theme song by Will Smith to accompany it. You my enemy, not no Chinese, no Viet Cong, no Japanese. You my poser when I want freedom. You my poser when I want justice. You my poser when I want equality. Number four, Chariots of Fire. Best known for its evangelist-composed opening theme, this historical drama introduces us to the stories of two polarizing Olympic runners in 1924. The film pits the Christian Eric Little against the Jewish Harold Abrams as they race for the glories of their faiths. While the Chariots of Fire soundtrack won an Academy Award for Best Score, it's the heartwarming and powerful nature of the story that gives the true classic its real take-home value. Number 3, Rush. The rivalry of real-life race car drivers James Hunt and Nicky Lauda heated up during the 1976 Formula One season. The other thing I'm remembered for is what happened on 1st August 1976, when I was chasing him like an asshole. Starring Chris Hemsworth and Daniel Bruhl as the McLaren and Ferrari drivers respectively, the film mixes high-paced action with moving drama as the two battle to keep their careers and their personal lives intact. Hey asshole! It was my line. I had that corner. What, you mean the one that you spun out of and finished facing the other way? I think that corner had you. Impressive acting and storytelling keep the emotions high with every lap of this car-based biopic. You know, we're both champions of the world. It's not bad, huh? No, it's not bad. So don't let me down now. I need you busting my balls. Get back to work. Number two, The Fighter. The real-life tale of Mickey Ward had many Oscar nods and many thumbs up had its way thanks to this David O. Russell film. Well, I never heard of it. Where do you hear about it? The New York Times? No, a guy, a guy from work. Starring good old Marky Mark as the welterweight boxer with nowhere to go but down, this is a Cinderella story that's more about the fight between brothers rather than the matches themselves. I'm the one yeah. fighting, okay? Not you, not you, and not you. It also has Christian Bale in another career-making role. Yeah as the harsh, drug-addicted brother whose actions can help or hinder his family's success. It's a truly moving film that deserves every bit of praise it has received. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. It's your decision. It's your life. Okay. Okay, what? This is the time to build our nation. Using every single brick available to us. We we'll use a bat. That way we don't have to touch skin. All right. Come on, fellas. 
I do it. Number one, Raging Bull. This dark and depressing biopic by Martin Scorsese shook up the film industry alongside the genre of biopics themselves. Hey, Ray. Level one down, Ray. After the booming success of the fictional story of Rocky Balboa in the mid 70s, Robert De Niro goes in the complete opposite direction with his portrayal of real life middleweight boxer Jake LaMotta in this sports drama. Why don't you tell me, huh? Did you f my brother? Huh? Get off Did me! Did you f pig? Did you? Huh? No! Drowning in the vices of his own jealousy and pride, LaMotta's story is one of highs and lows and the effects they have on him and his family. Regarded as being one of the best American films ever made, it's no surprise that it's also our favorite sports biopic. Go get him, champ. <clears throat> now that's entertainment. <clears throat> Do you agree with our list? Jesus, how did that happen? Which sports biopic is your favorite? After high school, I'm gonna play football at Notre Dame. <laughs> For more sporty top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We just got here. They just expect me to pick up and move. What about my girl?